<laughs> hit something. Um, all right, so in this case, when we have fractions, basically, in gentlemen, what we want to do is go ahead and multiply um, across. All right, when we're multiplying fractions, you multiply the numerator times denominator, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Okay, Brandon? Um, we're not doing like in fractions where you have to have common denominators. <laughs> For multiplying, that's not the case. You can just multiply across. But please, do not do this. Okay? Aww. That is cross <laughs> multiplication. We use cross multiplication when we have a ratio equal with the equal sign to another ratio. So when we're applying the product, Nick, which you've asked me questions before, which you're not turned around for, um, when we are multiplying, do not, I do not want to see cross multiplication because that is a totally different topic. All right, totally different operation as well. So multiply across. Here I'm simply going to have 21. 4 times 12 is going to be 48. Okay. Now, I always want to make sure, though, ladies and gentlemen, I can identify. Well, make sure you guys can think of what are your com. You know, always look to are they both even? No. So therefore, I want to see is there common is there common terms though I can divide out of the top and out of the bottom? Yes. Yes. And that common number is that you can divide out three. So what I can simply do to reduce my fraction because you're always going to want to write your fractions in reduced terms. So to reduce my fraction in this case, um, 21 divided by 3 we know is 7. OK. 17. No. 16. 7 over 16. 7. OK, yeah. 7 over 48 divided by 3 is 16. And that's your final answer. OK? B-E-A-U-tiful. <laughs>